Welcome. Welcome, guys. This is Geek by, by Heart. Heart. I'm Jay. I'm Laney. And today we are going to be reviewing a quiet. Shh. What you say? We're going to talk about A Quiet Place today because <laughs> we have just recently um, watched it. Yeah, uh, we're, we're a little late in it, but... Yeah, we are a little late. We want to talk about it. Yeah, we want to talk about it. Uh, the movie basically stars Emily Blunt. And John Krasinski. John Krasinski. From which, The Office. Who is also the director for it. Mm -hmm. And um, there's this, this wonderful, talented uh, girl in it. She, her name is Millicent. Yeah, Simmons. Mill Millicent Simmons. Mm -hmm. uh, I think she's the she's actually the, the, the mute girl that is in it. I wonder if I'm saying that correctly. Nah, that she's deaf. She's deaf. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, she's actually deaf in real life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Which brought a lot of um, a lot of meaning to this movie. Mm -hmm. And um, I really do respect the fact that they actually put someone who is literally um, deaf. Yeah. Know, literally plays the part of whatever character, you know, the person is plays. Mm -hmm. Of course, we know John Krasinski. He is one of the, the, the he's mm -hmm. one of the directors for The Office, right? Mm -hmm. One of the main characters yeah. of The Office, the American version. And he's actually, he actually directed, I think, some series of The, um, the Office as well. Probably, probably. Yeah. And he's also married to his co-star Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt, yeah. yeah. So and a he, he literally, he literally, written and directed this movie. Okay. You know, okay. which I have to really applaud. Mm -hmm. you know? Especially because it was a good job. Like yeah. sometimes you get those people that you know direct and write or direct and and star in, and it's not a really good look. But yeah, this was a good look. But um, you know, we have a little bit of. Good geek, bad geek about it, and um, I have more good than bad, so yeah, that's just me. <laughs> yeah. Basically, um, my bad geek. I don't really have a lot of bad geeks for this movie. I'm, and, I'm um, hoping that. Yeah, it's you know, it's it, it's practically what I actually hoped for in a horror movie. Okay. Uh, you know, it, take you away from those jump scares kind of thing. Yes. I hate it jump scares. Did. Even though there was a couple, but. Yes. Yeah, I hate jump scares movies and and especially from um from horror movies. I, I hate it. Stop doing it. Yeah. Stop doing it. It's <laughs> not good. Stop it. My bad geek is my first bad geek is basically um I I have to say my my my, my whole idea of the um of how the movie started. Um, even though I do enjoy the fact that you have no origin of the the, the, the aliens or why you know how they invaded Earth, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever I, st I still wanted a kind of background for it. Okay. You know, I wanted to find out how how everyone got affected by them and um, how they really how they really how everyone knew that they have to be quiet to okay. avoid them. Okay. You know what I mean? I, I, I literally wanted to know how they do it, but I guess they're probably thinking about doing, which they are actually planning um, to do a, a part two. Yep. Um, I think that I, I hope they go in the origins, but that's you know that's first my first bad geek, my second bad geek. Um, I didn't like the fact that they were focusing on one family. You know, I wanted mm -hmm. to see. I wanted to actually see other people involved, you know, other families or, or other people who this alien, you know, they probably might have them limbed up or um, they try to escape certain things and they didn't. And, you know, I wanted to see that, but, you know, I, just everything revolved around one family. However, my good geek, I don't have a lot of that, well, I have a lot, but not too much, but my good geek is the intensity of the movie the intensity of the movie was on point i loved it i was on the edge it was it was awesome mm -hmm. 
the development of the movie is another thing that I really love. How everything started. I'm about to say what you mean by that? No, everything started like really slow, mm -hmm. and then you it, thought it started real slow. Yeah, just the whole idea of you know when the movie start, you see the family in the uh, in the store, and you know everything just went so nice and easy, and then everything went downhill when the little kid got kid got swiped up. Okay. Because I wasn't, ex you know, in some sense you was expecting it, but you weren't like expecting kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Because you didn't want to see, you, it, I think I was on the, the innocent side of me not to see a kid <laughs> getting gobbled up by a kid. And John Chris, as he and said, <laughs> slap your innocent, yeah. forget you. So that literally, I really love that. I really love the development of the, the, the edge, cliff edge type um, horror movie and I, I like that. Well. The concept of the movie, even though you do have horror movies that are like that, you have the Tremor. Yeah, you do. You do have the Tremor. You have um, uh, you have this other horror movie with this blind dude. Uh, um, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. It was a home uh, invasion I movie. Think, I think it's Don't Breathe. I yes. Think, yeah, I think it's yes. Don't it was, Breathe. Yes, it was, don't, it was a yeah. home invasion movie. Yeah, it's yeah. Don't Breathe. Okay. And I, I like that. I like that um that 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 concept for horror movies uh, i think it just bring a different concept in terms of the whole um monster living somewhere and they just you know pronounce on you and kill you so the whole idea of that movie was pretty much good and i, I, I really do appreciate it it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a little difficult for me to talk about because you hit a lot of stuff that was gonna hit and then something like I can't wait to get to our conclusion because then I can debate you on it. Okay, well, you tell me about what your good geek and bad geek is about. <laughs> okay. Um, I didn't have a lot of bad geeks, so I think I want to start with bad geeks and then go to good geeks. So, um, one of the things that annoyed me was that I think that it's going to go into something very similar to what you said. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to go into the fact that we didn't get a lot of backstory on how this world developed. So you already know that if this had any kind of financial success, which it did, mm -hmm. that or made a profit, which it did, it's gonna go into a sequel. And then like a lot of times what you're seeing a lot of horror movies do now is go into a sequel and then a prequel. So if they don't do a backstory within the sequel, then you already know if, again, if it's gonna be profitable, it's gonna be a prequel. So they purposely put you in this world and invest you in this world that they almost don't give any clues about. Like you do see it on that um not billboard on um in the farmhouse i guess you can say when where he was working at where the father was working at but that that was it and it's like only bits and pieces that you see of the background of how it happened so that annoyed me a little bit so if i were to think about it i, I really feel like that was the only thing i, I disliked oh yeah, I really like this movie. Mm. I really like this movie. One of the things that I did like that I, I completely disagree with, and like I said, I just want to touch on it now so then we could debate it later, mm. is I actually love the isolation. Mm. I love the fact that there was only a very small cast um, of this one family. Um, and like I said, I, I, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna just say that, because when we get into our conclusion, like I, that, I think that's gonna yeah, be a debatable well, yeah, thing. Because yeah. when you said, there was a couple things you said, I was like, Nah, it's not gonna make sense in this world. But again, so like I said, I, I want to just go back into like the fact that I love the isolation. I love the fact that like there was one small family that was it. I love that you felt the isolation, that you didn't see like the people next door or the people across the street doing maybe like the signs in <laughs> Dawn of the Dead um, uh, 2004 remake or so uh, um, when they're trying to talk to each other. Um, the fact that like you saw the bonfires and they felt so far away that you literally felt like this was, you were on an island. So I love that isolation part. So another thing that I loved was that everything was not wasted mm -hmm. from each sound that was made, it was an ar arbitrary. Um, the actions of each character was not arbitrary. Like everything had a meaning and it it created even more of a tenseful experience. Mm -hmm. Tenseful, I don't even know if that's a word, but a tense experience for you to engulf in. Like it just, it brought you in really, really well. And I love that. And my last one, because I can go on forever actually, but it's not going to be that long. Um, it brought me in as a woman. And I don't mean that, it, I don't mean that in, no, it just, it brought me in as a woman. Like, when I saw that she was pregnant, 
I said, oh my God. Yeah, that part. In, in, in this yeah. world. Ooh. And being that like, yo, I, I've been blessed that I've had a child. So I know what it feels like to get that like all of a sudden kick, mm. you know, just for no reason. And you make a noise because of that or, you know, going through labor or things of that nature. I'm like, yo, from the moment that I saw it, I was like, how is she going to do this? How are they going to do this? Mm. Not even to say like once the child is out. How's that child gonna survive when a child is always crying? Mm -hmm. But just even going, getting to that moment, I just was like, oh my God. It, it brought so much more tense in this and I, I was really drawn in from that. Okay, that's 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 really great that you, um, I, you know, you just, you said something, you mentioned something in terms of the isolation of the movie. And I, I, I'm gonna disagree with, with that a little bit because you know what? If they had put, if they had made it where you do see fires in certain parts, mm -hmm. you know, and they do communicate with each of these, these, you know, whoever who is setting up these bonfire fires around, if they do communicate with these people, you know, eventually, if you know, they could set it up where you have when whenever like they put up a bonfire to get a certain person or certain individuals response mm -hmm. by their bonfire they will see like one bonfire out another bonfire out you know that means basically the aliens are actually killing them so the, how everything was situated it's like it's up to you to decide if it's if it, they were killed or not they probably might not have been killed mm -hmm. they probably at the time of when they started that bonfire they weren't around you know what I mean but, so what is so what is the point that you're getting at? But the point, my, my my point, my point actually stated is that I think it it would be a lot more intense to have more people involved, and and literally okay. give you some consent of what these aliens can do. I totally disagree. Mm -hmm. I think that this world was set up for if you had if the more people that you have around, the more that you're going to be die, you're going to be killed. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Granted, you can be killed by your own just for making one sound, whether it's um, a foot in the wrong place, like mm -hmm. the fact that they even painted where to to walk in, or the fact that you know that they had trails of sand so mm -hmm. you so that you didn't make noise or whatever. But like this world is set up not for groups to 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 be around each mm -hmm. other. Like this is not the zombie apocalypse. Mm -hmm. And that's something that you actually kind of touched on, not in that way, but in a way of saying that this is um, a new type of horror that mm -hmm. I really did appreciate as well. Yeah. Because now we are definitely in the zombie apocalypse, we are definitely in um, a, a sea of ghost movies or whatever. Mm -hmm. It and was I, new, it was fresh, it was I, different. And I think they actually started this on the right foot because recently we have the Annihilation. Um, which was the alien invasion type movie mm -hmm. that was and that was and that was and that was interesting too that's yeah. another that's, that's another, another conversation yeah. but that was an interesting thing too and another thing that i wanted to touch on was basically my future expectations for this movie as i as i stated earlier mm -hmm. that they're going to be having a part two mm -hmm. and um to what i understand is that there is going to be a prequel to this movie mm -hmm. meaning that they're gonna you know they're gonna start from the beginning of everything what I'd love to see for the next movie is um, for them to not focus on this family but focus on a separate family okay and maybe uh, towards the end that's of fine. the movie this family is probably preluded you know what I mean they're like introduced so that it can go into a part three of mm -hmm. that same movie so mm -hmm. that, you know that 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 cliffhanger part that cliffhanger ending that that had the the daughter and the mother and the son in the basement and uh you know they, they killed the alien and two other aliens were approaching the house i love that that ending yeah. by the way i was i was yeah. psyched then for that part ending. three can go off on that that ending okay which i think would be more interesting because you'll already have a backstory for these aliens and uh this will give you an in-depth look of what they can do and what they need what the family need to do to to, to be in survival um i'm gonna I'm disagree with you um i am not interested in a prequel why because basically aliens come from the sky to the earth 
it's noisy, they kill the end. <laughs> like I, I don't I don't really see the development in a prequel. I'm sure that they can figure out a great story for it, but I just don't really see the development in a prequel. Like what is there really to figure out on yo, they come, you make a noise, you die. I mean that that's it. I'm gonna disagree with that because for the people, I, I basically, I, I would love to see how uh, how they find out that you have to be quiet for not to be killed. I would love is to see that. Movie, I, I would love, the whole movie to figure that out? I would love to see that. I would definitely love to see that because, I'd you know what, they can, this movie can, well, the prequel can be something that engages you with whatever in, um, uh, interactions that even someone who you know in, had this this uh, intense moment with the alien and they, they basically were quiet for the alien not to attack them and, and then they will say okay oh, how we're going to communicate this with everyone that you have to be quiet for the aliens to not kill them and again you're, te you're telling me that you need a whole movie to get to that point no you don't necessarily need a whole movie that's just my for, point you, just, you don't necessarily need a whole movie for you to know that you have to be quiet but you have to know a background story of where these aliens come from where did they you know how did they start killing off everyone and is the entire United States of America affected by by this alien where is it is it a certain part of a country part of America what is it now that's, so I'd, that, that's I'd love true to see I, that. I agree with that I mm -hmm. agree with that now that they think that I think that that could be handled in a sequel. I would consider that be the, pre uh, the prequel. I don't know. I feel like that's that's more Independence Day territory of of handling it. Like I did, I just I'm not interested in seeing a prequel mm -hmm. to it. I'm not. Mm -mm. But you know what? It it is what it is, and it's true. It's, it's really a good movie. Yes, it it's, is. It's, it's, Absolutely. Trust me, John Krasinski did a wonderful job. Absolutely. Absolutely. And if you haven't um, seen it, definitely see it. Please go. I actually um, gave it a four. Out of five. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I, I was actually saying four point five because um to be honest with you, only the fact that like I felt like they were setting up for the sequel, prequel, the sequel trilogy sequel, kind of trilogy. um kind of thing. Mm. Other than that, like because it, there wasn't a lot of explanation on how this happened. Mm. But now in talking to you about it, I'm like, I don't know if I really want the explanation. I think I was just fine with the fact that we know that there was an alien invasion. Mm -hmm. Um and you know, somehow they figured out that sound was their greatest weakness as humans. So in order for you to hide even in plain sight it might mm. be yeah. that, you know, you gotta be quiet. But okay. um I, I I loved it. I loved it because it was tense. I loved it because as soon as it started, I felt like when you said it was slow when it started, I was like, I, I, I definitely didn't disagree with that. <laughs> I mean, first. maybe the first two minutes, but like when they killed off that little kid, even though he wasn't a main character, he was an important character mm. that showed you the brutalness of this world from the beginning and it held me. Well, you know, uh, I think next week, next week or I think next week we're going to be starting. We got there. We're going to be starting a binge watching thing <laughs> we're gonna be watching a binge we're gonna be binge watching Lord of the Rings everything from um, from Peter Jackson uh, what he did with Lord of the Rings from the beginning to Hobbit so we're gonna be binge watching that Actually, this week I think <laughs> you guys should do that too. <laughs> Hobbit to you Lord of the Rings but... too. thank you so much for watching us thank absolutely. you for the subscribers we absolutely have thank subscribers. you for that. thank you so much guys and please uh, hit that subscribe button yep. if you want please to hear more it. from us please comment um just on what we're saying like whether you like what you dislike we appreciate the feedback that we've gotten so far um find us on instagram we are geek by heart on instagram and also on twitter geek by heart as well so i i'm late i'm jake and this has been geek by heart see you when i see you see you guys